Mm, Bane Blade update. Today I... Well, I said in my Condor uh, rant video that I would be able to prime these. I can't, because I actually forgot that I had some work left on them. But the main body has been painted. Uh, and I filled in some uh, uh, seams that I could still see. And when I'm finished, I'm going to find some finer sand paper and go over it. Maybe around three or four hundred. I did buy a let's see if I can find it. And of course when you're looking for something you can't find it. Uh hang on. Didn't have to go far. It was right behind me. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It, it, it is actually from the Swedish dollar store. And let's hope you can... Yeah, you should be able to. Because I'm recording in mirror image. Yeah, you should be able to. Anyway. Uh, the finest paper I have in this little bag is 150 and that's about the equivalent of I think Excuse me, I'm looking for something. Yeah. This one says 150. And I can see this one's finer than one of my old stashes. So I need to find something uh, that is much finer. This one is 240. And it might work with this, but I need to sand the hell of it out of this one, in that case. So I'm going to buy a bit more of this 240 paper and just go loose on this thing. The... Uh, insides of these track units have actually had their primer color on one side. It's we should actually be able to take them in now. Acrobatics and here they are completely black, more or less. Uh, these are basically just going to stay this color, or I uh, need to do some touch up as you can see. It's a few white spots left. Actually, light blue. <laughs> I painted this almost this kind of blue. Because uh, I was planning to do winter theme. But when the project stalled, and I 
start it up again, I wanted a different color. So, uh, and I'm sorry if you only see half my head, but it's just so you, I can show you the parts at a better angle. And if I sit straight, you barely see my head at all. So, if we sink down, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now you can actually see my eyes. Anyway, these have had uh, one layer of prime. I'm going to fill out a few dents from uh, here on the back sides. And uh, prime them again. Hopefully, if it's somewhat sunny tomorrow, uh, these I'm gonna work on these this evening and uh, prime them tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, that's basically where we are today. So it isn't much, but. I'll get back to you when I have primed these for the second time. So, bye. Morning, guys. It's uh, 10.30. And uh, I did prime the insides of these, as you can see. They still stink. It's a bit windy outside, so when I um, had uh, painted them, about ten minutes later, I heard something rattle on the balcony, and everything was upside down, so I had to take it in. The underside of the superstructure has got his uh, second coat. I am uh, probably going to put on some more uh, seam filler. And then I'm sand it down and give it another coat. And uh, that's it for now. Bye. I forgot to glue these two on before the first primer, but. They're on now, and uh, when the glue has dried, I'm going to put more on from the inside. If I lift the can, you can see. So, that's that. Bye.